Today we have just walked around, went to City Hall which was beautiful, walked around the city, got lost, found our place, took a snooze and now we are having some nice rosé. So please keep on watching and I'll show you more of this island and several others. After having some nice cup of tea, the Cyrus way, we are now gonna go up the hills, go to the Orthodox Church and the Catholic Church and just walk around the old town and see what we can find. and we're just walking around to see, enjoy the view we were supposed to go to a different island Tainia I think but it got cancelled though because of the weather so we are just walking around and just looking for cats I hope you Mind if I say that I love you Cause there's so many ways that I want to Carve out our names Board a last minute plane Just us two We can chase The sun as it sets in the mountains Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lay to see and it's so windy today so so windy all the birds are just they're not even flying they're just soaring <laughs> because of the wind and yes uh, we do feed the cats a little bit but we do follow the um, instructions the guidelines um, that if we give them food we always leave uh, we do not do not stand just watch them so they can get attached uh, but there's a lot of very hungry cats here, so yeah, and we are very much cat persons 
but I know that it's a controversial subject. I do know that. But now we're walking along the sea, enjoying the wind or the view. It's just really, really pretty here. days in Cyrus because we arrived in Cyrus on Tuesday and we left on Friday uh, so there was just one hour boat ride to um, to Paris and Paris is a much more visited island during summer uh, than Cyrus is I think if I'm correct so, uh, so we expected more from Cy uh, Paris and Paris is a much bigger island as well but it's so dead here. Yeah. <laughs> I can see a lot of cars, but I can really see a lot of people. We walked around yesterday when you, when you arrived just to find a cafe or a restaurant. And all we can find was one coffee shop that was open, one restaurant that was open, and a grocery store. That was pretty much it. There's a lot of renovating do going on right now. Uh, I expect they are just preparing for summer and well it's still winter here and you can see that outside because it's raining it's a lot of wind and I got seasick on the way here so yeah but today I'm gonna go out to explore I'm gonna put on my rain jacket and just walk around find some nice buildings I can see one right from my uh, hotel room because my hotel is right on the port it's Oh, I don't remember the name of the hotel, but I'm gonna put it down in the description. <laughs> no description, <laughs> just in case you want to want to check it out. It's really nice, and it's right on the port. So yeah, I'm gonna go and explore, and just yeah, come with me, please. I just had the cutest experience. I went to a souvenir shop and while well, I was standing out this shop and looking at refrigerated magnets as you do as a tourist, this cute old man came out to say hello and be like, come in, there's more inside. Uh, and he was just so cute. Uh, and he had more than souvenirs. He had uh, jewelry and uh, oh my god, China and so much more. And and as a salesman, he was pretty good because you know he stopped it. Ah, oh, this is silver and this is that and that and that. You know. So I went to study more, and and he he was, I believe he was in his 80s, 90s, maybe. So slow, but so nice. Give me chocolate, so cute. So I just had to buy myself this ring. <laughs> um, and a refrigerated magnet, of course. But you know, when it's locals and you know that they don't really have that much income because there are absolutely no tourists here. Tourists here, uh, you just want to help them. It was the same with the um, the restaurant we went to yesterday we just found one restaurant that was open and we just wanted to buy more help the local people and it's the same with the souvenir shop I was looking for postcards they didn't have any postcards but yeah you know you just oh, you just want to help them you know I think I just found the local beach that all the tourists come to here in Paris during summer and yes it's not summer ready 
because he needs a little cleanup. It's very cute. And it looks like people are kite surfing out there. On an island, waiting for you to come around. I've been going crazy, setting fires to the ground. Looking out into the waves, all the memories start to fade. I'm forgetting what you were like. So tell me what's the point of calling out my <laughs> But uh, on a map, you can see that Paris. Sorry, I'm not crying, <laughs> just too much wind. Okay. So on a map, you can see that Paris has this little heart shaped um, like beach promenade. So I'm in one of the bows um, <laughs> and now I just walk to the top of one of the bows and um, bows, 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 sorry and it's really nice, the weather is not good but I understand why people come here in the summer there are several beaches, even more that way the way that I'm not going because I'm gonna go back because I'm freezing but yes, this is very nice, a lot of hotels Everybody is closed, of course. Renovating is going on, but yes, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. in Naxos and we love this place already it's beautiful the city is beautiful and our Airbnb is yes so happy about this place we're in Naxos and we just uh, rented the car and we are driving around the island so we just stopped at this Cute little village. I do not remember the name, but I will write it down here. It's very nice. We're gonna go and take a hike to see the cave where Zeus were born or something. The childhood cave of Zeus. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be 45 minutes one way. So I'm very curious if that is good. But yes, this is going to be a really good day.
finally have a good day there is no rain right now it's sunny and we have 10 degrees i think and it's very nice in the sun so yes finally because there's been a lot of rain and snow i don't get it but it's good to have a sunny day just got myself some postcards i even found one <laughs> that was from paris so i took two uh because i'm sending postcards home as well so yeah postcards and a bottle opener so both a bottle opener and a wine opener because we realized that not all the places we go to have wine openers so <laughs> that about one and now i'm heading to um the temple of apollo oh it's so beautiful where it stands and i hear that it's supposed to be very nice at uh sunrise and sun no sunset yeah but we tried to do that yesterday but um there was just uh the sun didn't go through the clouds <laughs> so it was a problem we didn't really see the sun then so maybe we're gonna try that tonight okay it's just too windy and the waves are crashing over the bridge oh my god to go out to the temple so i think i'm just gonna wait for tomorrow and hope that the wind is just cooling down a bit because oh my god well i see that some people are over there but still if it's like this it's windy at the port and to go up on that hill it's just gonna be worse so i might just stay down here oh my god other than that it's a beautiful day <laughs> Okay, I changed my mind. I crossed the bridge. I'm a little bit wet, but it's not that windy over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go and see that temple I'm here to see. So, Zeus, the king, no, not the king, sorry, the god Zeus, he was the god of all gods uh, in Greek mythology, and he had about 30 kids, I think. I googled that. Uh, and I think it's about 30 kids, Aphrodite is one of them, Athena and Apollo is one of them and Apollo um, is its temple we're gonna go and see now. So <laughs> let's walk some more stairs. I hope I handle the wind. Um, yeah, this is a really really beautiful place. Like in the summertime I believe this is packed. amazing oh, oh my god you have to come here and you have to feel the wind and you just have to feel the powers it's just like godly powers yes it's stupid I know but they had gods for everything for love for battle for for war for for I don't know rain and <laughs> and the sea and everything and when you're at this temple and when you're at these godly places you can just feel the power you can feel it and you believe in it i know it's totally crazy oh, but just it feels good i feel alive and i feel happy i really like being happy
I've longed for this place, longed for this place for so long. Guys, I'm in Santorini. <laughs> uh, this is big. This is huge. Because I've always looked at photos of Santorini and thought, wow, that's a beautiful place. I'm never gonna go there. I'm never gonna have money. The thing is, there's not only expensive hotels here. We found an affordable hotel. Uh, and we do not have, we have an ocean view, but not the ocean side of the island we want to. <laughs> but still, it's really nice. So, I'm now gonna walk. I had to find my friend because she went out half an hour ago just to find some water. And we really realized that we need to hurry up to go and find the uh, sunset. <laughs> just took the bus here and now we're going to go explore uh, we just figured out that it's very tiny which is weird because when you see all the Instagram posts and stuff it always looks so huge but maybe it is bigger than we think it is so we're gonna go explore uh, maybe I find an, a post office to send some <laughs> uh, postcards I know you've got a secret like a child you want to keep it but your shiny eyes reveal the simple truth and every time you look at me you start to smile immediately it's funny you don't have to say a word and I know you're What's on your heart? And life's too short for me to wait for you to be mine. I want another day to tell you. I'm not afraid to say. Just like the other islands, there's a lot of construction going on and a lot of the stores are closed. We can still see the beautiful ocean view and view of the villas, but I believe it's much prettier during summertime. I believe that they clean the streets and the construction is over. It's not now. I do believe that I've found the place with the famous stores because people take a lot of uh, pictures with these doors because it's like the door to the volcano or something like that it's in Fira but if you can see here up there is the castle or uh, the monastery or whatever it's up there where I went to go see the sunset but if you go a little bit to the left uh, you can find this place
able to see that wherever I walk, I will find a church. The church is absolutely everywhere on this island. Uh, I know someone told me that on Naxos, the island, my previous island, had 600 churches on that island. But like Santorini must have, I don't know, maybe more, maybe a double because I see churches absolutely everywhere and they are beautiful absolutely beautiful a few tips about going to Santorini during the winter it's very windy but the sun can be out so you should have a good jacket or two I have my fleece in my backpack just in case it gets really cold another thing there's a lot of construction going on so there might be a lot of painting going on as well so do not lean over these white beautiful walls without checking if they are recently painted because it is easy for you to get covered in paint and you don't really want that on your vacation especially on in Santorini so that was two tips from Ali <laughs> Woo! yeah and watch your step that's the third okay after getting yet another postcards I got two in Oya and now one here in Fira I feel like I, I should you know because uh, yes I send postcards home um, I think it's nice so <laughs> now I'm gonna find some gyros head back to hotel because the girl I'm traveling with she has just been on a hike she's, she's coming back and I have to get the keys so kind of have to be at the hotel now to let her in it's been a really good day very windy whoa okay <laughs> very windy but it's been a really nice day One of the villages here in Santorini. I've gone to Parissa. It was a 50 minute long bus drive from Fura, uh, but that's because it <laughs> goes to several other villages as well. So I just arrived. Uh, it was a very nice and scenic trip. And the first thing that meets me here in Parissa is this beautiful, beautiful church. I'm planning to just walk around here, see what the village has to offer. I also think that the Black Beach is supposed to be here, so I'm gonna go and look at that. We, one of the bus stops along the way was the Red Beach, so I might go there one day. Um, oh, or maybe I'll just rent a car. I think I find that easier because there is a lot of stops I really want to take. But the thing is that with the bus, there's not a lot of buses each day, so you kind of have to have one or two stops each day and I would like to stop in more than one place okay that's the ocean I'm gonna go down there <laughs> Between winter and spring, 
<laughs> it's just crazy weather. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not halfway down the beach yet and as you can see I started way over there <laughs> uh, and it's oh it just goes for miles. This beach is huge, so so huge. Uh, and there are a lot of restaurants, none of them open. I do believe that there are some hotels here as well. Uh, but yes, if you come here during winter or spring, uh, well to Santorini, don't expect too much of Parisa. It's really nice to just come here and see the Black Sand Beach, the waves, it's really beautiful, but do bring some snacks <laughs> because there is nothing open here. I think I'm gonna go back to uh, the bus stop. The bus is supposed to leave in about 45 minutes and there's something else I wanna see on the way. Oh my God! <laughs> Just made it to Kamari and this looks uh, bigger and better than Parisa. Well, I just arrived, <laughs> but I've seen, well, several cats. Didn't see that in Parisa. Uh, and there's a bakery open and some of the stuff seems to be open. So that is much better than Parisa, although Parisa was beautiful. So now I'm walking towards the beach. Um, and the beach promenade. Oh, and that is the other side of the mountain I looked at yesterday. And if you're wondering, let's see, up here is Fira, up there is I uh, Oya. And yesterday I was in Paris and today I'm in Kamari. But the bus yesterday went from Fira all the way over here somewhere and down to the Red Beach and then up here into Paris. So it was a huge trip yesterday. And today there was a lot of school children on the bus. So I try not to take the buses around too because there's a lot of school children take them. just bought myself a lot of stuff um, I'm thinking about having a movie night tonight which is going to be really nice to be alone uh, it's the first time in two weeks it's been really really nice to travel with somebody and I already miss it because it's nice to have somebody to talk to even though you don't spend the entire day together you can still talk when you get pulled back to the hotel room I really like that but tonight I have some uh, snacks. I've also bought myself some uh, bread, olive oil, wine, <laughs> just to have a really nice day in. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you hit like and subscribe and if you want to know what's going on in real time, you can follow my Instagram, Wonderless with Molly. I hope to see you in the next one, bye!